everybody, it's Suffolk Blue, all the way from merry old England. How the devil are you? I hope you're well. Welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. Here we are, we are floating around here in the capsule with Jebediah, who, if you remember, back in our last episode, we managed to get out into, oops, out into orbit. And here we are, just going across the old... Uh, night dark side of Kerbin. So we did manage to get him, as you can see here, into a sort of roundish type of orbit. Um, which is all very, very good. Exactly what we wanted to happen. Fantastic. That angle, though, is rubbish. It's not a good orbit to be in if you want to go to the moon, because the moon is on a flat plane. And as you can see, we're not on a flat plane. We're on a 45 degree angled plane-ish, uh, which is not so good, not so great. So all in all we need to um, bring him down at some point but we're not going to do that straight away because where would the fun be in that? Instead what we're going to do, we're going to go to the space centre we're going to have a look at some more missions whilst Jebediah is floating about but he's not got a whole orbit anyway, he hasn't gone around the planet yet so he's going to stay up there for now. Night time is fast approaching as we can now see. Uh, if you hear some bangs in the background, uh, we're just having some uh, fireworks here in England uh, for uh, Guy Fawkes Night, which actually was a couple of days ago now, but the weekend has finally arrived. I've just come back from London uh, with a week with friends, so uh, I've missed all the fireworks. Morning, Jean. Let's have a look and see what you've got going around. Uh, science data from space around Kerbin. Um, what we wanted to do, send, send us science data. Transmit or recover, so we do that. Um, landed at Kerbin? No, 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 no. See, an LV-909 liquid fuel engine orbiting Kerbin. Well, we have something orbiting Kerbin. I'm just wondering whether or not it's going to be the same one. We shall find out. Um, test Mark 16 power in flight over Kerbin. Oh, that's a bit high. Uh, but the other one I want to do is this one. Is the basic jet engine splash down. So, we're going to do that. Let's go out. We're going to build, uh, whilst Jebediah is floating about way up in the air, we're going to build um, something to test... Now, what engines, what fuel... We want to test a rocket on what landed, basically, is what we're going to do. A basic jet engine, which is this little dude here. Now, it's huge. Um, I don't know, necessarily... I want to I want to launch something which doesn't go very high, splashes down, and essentially we get to keep the data. You know what I mean? So it's sort of like ah, oh, there we go, done, tested. Um, if I put that there, and then I get these little doodars, I don't I don't think this needs to be manned at all. Let's get a Sputnik in here. Yay! Oh, we can use a controlled thing because it's going to be a spinny thing if not. Lovely. So there's our little control doodah. Now I don't know whether or not I can actually put these anywhere apart from the bottom. Which is no good really because what we want to do is have it stick it at the side. Um, can I do that? I have no idea whether that works in terms of cross-feed. But if I do that... Right. So, we've got, to, we've got to land this thing, somehow. You can go away. We've got to land this thing... Um, on something. So I could put in... I want this to land in such a way that it doesn't break a, break apart the second that it hits the water, you know what I mean? It has to be central. I can't put anything in the middle there, I assume, because of the uh, of the jet engine bit. So let's let's try this a little bit other way. Ah, aha, uh -huh. that worked. And you were still connected. Damn, I didn't want that to happen. Okay, 
Um, these aren't the most expensive things in the world, so I don't mind if we use a couple of these. So hopefully that's going to give us enough, I don't know really, um, protection I suppose for this jet engine, because once this hits the water, there isn't really a lot I can do, it's sort of it's game over man really at that point. I could, I'm just trying to see whether I can put in like a, not a it's a bit like a protective cage I suppose. Something like that, which hopefully means that when this smashes into the water, it you know holds itself upright. I suppose. Right, parachutes, 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 parachutes. Lots and lots of parachutes. Where's the utilities gone? Thank you. Um, now, why don't you turn around? Let's turn you around. There we go. Lovely. So they're going to go on that end, and then I think what we're going to do is we'll have two. One there. Oops, I thought I put two on there. Obviously, I didn't. So, parachutes. These will all go at once. Actually, we want the engine to go once it's in the water, if we can. So that engine will go last. I don't know about that bottom part at all. But we will have at least plenty of parachutes, hopefully, to get us down into the water. Um, where's our centre of, of gravity thing? How do we see that? So the, the centre of gravity is there. Obviously there's no thrust. What we want to do is bring that centre of gravity back. Don't we? Really? You can see that as I add things onto this, I begin to offset the weight in from the engine. Um, so let's keep doing this a little bit. I'm going to mess about with this, I'll speed it up in the frames and I will see you in a moment. Welcome back. Here we go then. So we've put, I've ended up balancing it so that we've got engines on both sides. We can fire them both at the same time. Um, that should be absolutely fine. I've put out, uh, again, this will disconnect. This solid rocket booster is going to get us into, off the ground even, not into all, but certainly off the ground. We will then disconnect that. Um, and at that point we will also fire, uh, when we can, we'll fire our parachutes, all of them. Okay, and we've now got another set of four parachutes, so we've got lots of parachutes on this. This thing should float like a feather. Once it hits the water, I'm hoping that this will be able to stay upright, because these four arms um, should hopefully keep it upright. If it does fall over, then we could be less spot of bother. Uh, I'm going to call this um, um, Stingray. Well, actually, let's call it um, SBS, which is Suffolk Blue Special Ship. The SBSS1, and its tag name is Stingray. Save. Let's launch it. Again, no batteries yet. We probably have enough science to buy some batteries actually, but we haven't we haven't done so yet. So we're just gonna. This is basically just about getting it off the ground, into the water, and back again. Uh, okay. So we're sitting quite nicely. Should be quite even. If this blows up, nobody dies, which is great. SAS on. We don't need to worry about any throttles because we don't have any. So we can go in three, two, one. We're off. I'm going to hit us. 
straight over the water so we're actually already leaning this is pretty controlled actually I'm, I'm liking this don't really mind if we get really high because again we have got we do have the uh, parachutes to help us get down so we're nearly out of let's turn this over a little bit more so we really do head out over the water there it goes now I'm gonna just let this continue to go up for a second and then off that goes okay let's get ourselves into some sort of order we are now returning up they go now let's see what happens with these parachutes I'm hoping and I'm failing look at this miserably oh how annoying it's heavier on the top it's heavier on the top so what that means is is that all of this weight here this you know rather than the parachutes going up this weight is much more than these parachutes can handle at this moment uh, we are going to splash down though but we just need I think to try and get ourselves righted over are we using? <gasps> Electric charge is almost gone. Yeah, we're going to have to see ha what happens. I'm going to get ready to uh, activate these engines. Um, oh, we've got no charge to activate the engines. It's a disaster. It's a failure. It's a fail. We've got no electrical charge to activate the engines. So we are going to have to put something... See? Nothing. No electric charge. All been used up. This probe is dead dead as a door now but we also know that it is too heavy um, so I'm wondering actually what we should do is look at keeping the solid rocket booster on the bottom as opposed to letting it drop off which would hopefully mean that this would fall the other way around so we're not going to write, we're going to revert it back to the vehicle assembly which is fine um, what we're going to do is yeah I want to keep let's get, there, let's get rid of that Excellent. So now this is now part of it. And if we look at our distribution of mass again, it is lower. This is quite heavy. Um, should be heavy enough. Uh, we shall see. Um, save. Launch. Let's try it again. So again, we're just going to send this up in the air. All of this, just to test a couple of rocket engines in the water. Shocking. We do have enough, we actually have enough science to get batteries. I could do that. But let's not worry about it right at this second. Off we go. We need to get over so that we get out to sea, because we weren't really out to sea at all there. Here we go. Now we're going to be pushing out to sea. Got to get over the water. Looking good so far. I'm going to hold at 45-ish degrees. This out and turn off the SAS. Gonna try and get ourselves as horizontal as possible. Okay. Out they go. And let's see whether this still tips over. Now this is empty, you see. So the weight has shifted again forwards. It's very annoying. How much how much electricity do we have? We don't have a lot, so we'll have to just see whether we can bring this down. But even that, even that weight here is not enough to offset this engines and these parts. Oh if we could just turn. Go on. You know you want to. You know you want to. <gasps> look. Look, 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 look on and I'm not doing anything this is all doing it on its own so I'm not using any electric charge but the weight might just be enough go on coming down quite heavy actually that might be quite good for us because the bottom part will probably tip off but by then we'll already be in the water uh, taking our jet engines down OK, 
Okay, we've just activated our jet engine, so we definitely know that they'll work once we splash down. We're at 16, 15, 14. Coming in... Mm, how much juice do I have? Probably not a lot. Yeah, it's running down really quite quickly. Um, look at the electrical charge. We've got to get this in the water fast. Don't want to discharge. And... Come on. Whoops. I don't think we tested that at all. We're upside down now. We definitely haven't got any electric charge left now. We have no control over the engines. Failure. Another fail. Revert to assembly. So we need to be are going to get some batteries, I think, on this thing to keep this power going. Um, we can certainly lock these gimbals. Don't need to be gimbling. That's the start with. Liquid fuel. Are these? Do these only take liquid fuel? They don't. I haven't got. Have I got the wrong type of fuel on here? What type of fuel do you take? Mm. Liquid fuel. Yeah, yeah. Oh, an air intake. Ooh. Of course, there's no air intake. Hmm. Well, they haven't given me an air intake. Have they? Not that I can see. So, hmm, we need batteries, I think. Let's just uh, exit here for a second. We're going to go to science area. Let's go to the science area and let's just grab ourselves. Okay, over here. Here we've got some batteries, so we can start looking at increasing things. We could also have these structural supports and clamps. Um, we are getting to that point. These are 45. These are 45. We have 63. I'm going to get these. So we're going to research these. And we can go back to the uh, vehicle assembly building. And we're going to go and grab ourselves onto our rocket. Uh, if we go to utility now. Uh -huh. Now I can put some batteries on. Um, I don't want lots. But I need to have them weighted properly, otherwise it all goes terribly wrong. Just two will be probably be enough for this whole mission. There we go. So now we put some batteries on. That just means that the top thing will last a little bit longer um, and won't, uh, you know, explode. Uh, now I don't have then. Don't seem to have anyway. Any air intakes? Oh well. Pretty sure they should be okay. They got liquid fuel in here, liquid oxygen. Should be enough. Let's try again. Uh, save, launch. Should have more electri ele electricity now. So if things go terribly wrong, we should be able to do stuff, something about it. Come on. Launch us in. Right, let's have a look at our... Yeah, so we've got 210 now, which is a lot more than we had before. Um, that actually can be turned off. Let's get ourselves... Okay, we're going to head over straight onto the 90. So that we definitely get ourselves out over the water. Okay. Right, so we're definitely over the water. Don't want to go too high. I'm going to pull us round. So we're almost in the middle, like so. Excellent. And now that I've got SAS, um, actual electrical power, I can control our descent so that we're absolutely pinpoint pointing downwards. We're still coming in at 6.1, which is still going to be um, a little bit uh, potentially problematic. Yeah, see, I haven't got any engine. I haven't got any... Um, what am I missing? I am clearly missing... charge oxidizer, I've got loads of that. I 
Yeah, see? On fire. Air take deprived. So it is the intake that's deprived. So we are going to come up with a better way of having this engine done. So hold on, revert. See? Three epic fails. Three failures. Um, if I take off then, because I am really confused now, if I take off this one, has this become an air intake then or something? Is this now an air intake because of that? Because I'm assuming that if I just put this on the back of a plane I would have, I mean I can't see any any intakes. Get rid of that for a second. Um, I don't know. Well, let's save it. Let's see. Because I can't see on here anywhere which says, you know, must have intakes. And I can't see anything on here which looks like an intake that I can put on it. Um, yeah. doesn't say charge gimbal. Uh, use the uh, engine works best at low cruising speeds and altitudes. Right. Well, it's an experimental engine. This is what we do this for. I got a little. I do almost want to test this from the f ground to see whether it works before I launch the blasted thing. But let's give it a third go. Give it a third go. Uh, turn that off for now. Turn that on for now. Whoa! Yes, um, yeah, something went wrong there, revert to the assembly, what went wrong was that we didn't have the weight right, and you'll see what I mean, if I come up here now, because we took this bit off the end, um, what we've got is our weight is a little bit over, so what we need to do is to try and uh, balance that out a little bit, a wee bit, I do something like that. Does that balance that out still? Oh, uh, pretty central. That uh, looks pretty good. Wasted fuel, obviously, um, which is a shame. Let's just put in there um, something like that, which will just hopefully hold all that together a little bit. Let's just have a look. Yeah, I think that looks fine. Well, are we off slightly there? Yeah, I think we might be. Are you off slightly? Hmm. Certainly is. Okay. Well, I think that's about as close as we're going to get. So this thing gets another attempt. Let's see. Oh! Lots of explosions in this episode. More explosions than last time. This is why I'm glad we didn't do this manned. <laughs> it would have been a disaster. Let's have a look. See, now I don't really understand why it's still going that way, because you saw the weight ball made it look as if everything was hunky-dory and fantastic. Deprived. Well, we saved that. We've we've completely saved the craft. But again, let's see. The cause is the air intake's deprived. Now, is there run test? No target. So we do need air. We need an intake. How heavy is this going to hit the ground? Do you reckon? Ah, bump. Okay, revert flight. Vehicle assembly. Last chance for looking, because I can't see anything in here which says this is an air intake and you must shove it on aerodynamic, aeropon, science, utility. No. Let's go back to our science area and have a look, because what they've done is they've given me clearly an engine that I can't use. Um, without an air intake. So, where are the air intakes? And how much are they? Okay, what we got? Nope. 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 Here. 
Ooh, air intakes. So, in order to get that... Okay. Oh dear. So we are going to need... We're going to need this one, which is 45. 125 science. We have not got 125 science. Okay. Jebediah, you need to do some work. <laughs> you can't just keep floating about up here. Let's fly. Fly this mission. Quickly. Let's have a look and see. Well, we've got another quest. We've got another uh, option here, which is to... Um, test an LV-90. Well, we're too high at the moment to test that one either. Um, but they want us to test an LV-909 liquid fuel engine. Now, I don't know what we have at the moment on the back of this thing. It's the right one. So, I'm wondering, even though this launched before we picked up this mission, that we probably should be able um, to test it. Let's get ourselves... We don't have... How much electric charge do we have? Not a lot. Be really careful. Careful here, excuse me. I'm going to slow us down. Is that moving? Hmm. Why are you not moving? Oh, I know, I shut you down. Right, welcome back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring our orbit down to within the 99 area, which is fine, we're doing that, down to 80 on this side. So let's just speed this up a wee bit and get around the planet. So we're flying around the planet, and then when we get to here we're going to fire that engine again, and we're going to hopefully gain valuable science from it. Here we do, we're coming round. Slow ourselves down here. Oops, facing the wrong way, of course. Need to retro burn, otherwise, it all goes terribly wrong. Let's do it this way. So look at that, Ooh, even though it's very clever, what it knows is that even though I am attempting this, it's not going to give it to me as green because this rocket was already up in the air when I did it. How clever is that? Right, so back to where we were, outside. Here he is, floating around in his capsule. So what we've got to do then is pick a landing point uh, for Jebediah. Now we know that our... Um, home, if you like, is in the darkness at the moment, over here, I think. So, let us spin around, let's go around the sun a couple of times, and what we're looking for is the African-shaped bit. Now, we can't go any more than that, because we're too close. And that looks interesting, a little mountain range there. So we wonder then, actually, I'm also thinking, can we do the other one, which is, if you remember, is to take a crew report and transmit it. Ah, we can! So if we can do that one, orbiting carbon. So if I do that and do... Okay. That didn't work. I don't really know why that's worked, but they're okay. So we have done that at least. The next thing is to do is to bring this down. Um which we're gonna do I'll sort of do it I'll sort of do this big old ocean here bit really. Okay, so we're gonna bring Jebediah back then. We're gonna bring Jeb and I are back. Um, we aren't going to sit here and wait for this to go all the way around the planet before we bring him back because it will just take forever, um, I think. Although we do sort of want to try and land in a bit of water if we can. Um, let's get that. Let's get this moving around and just see 
where the water is. Well, the water's now coming into the sun right here, so um, in actual fact we want to sort of bring him down in this bit of ocean, I think. Uh, let's... I don't want to come in too hot with him either, because that would be pretty disastrous. Energy's fine. We've obviously already done the, one of these things. The next thing, actually, what we've got to do to test this engine, of course, is do it via the staging process, rather than by activating it by a mouse, which is what I did. So this is what we're going to bring him down, and I think, into this water here. Let's slow him down. He's been up there now for three hours, um, which is a quite long time uh, for the initial sort of experimental space flight. I'm going to just... Yeah. Because there is our... There's our base here. Now we're not going to bring him down near there. We're going to try and bring him down about here, south of that. Whoops. All right, and stop. Thank you. Uh, what we are going to have to do, of course, is sh is um, we can't test it without pressing space. And if we press space, of course, that will uh, separate the ship, I believe. So what we're going to have to do is do a test of the engine again. Wow. energy have I got. So we're now pointing backwards. We're going to slow ourselves down. So the way we do that is we do a little fire. Already you can see us slowing down. You can see that our curve is going to start being brought in. And I'm going to bring our curve to about there. Because I hope that the air resistance that we face as we come in will tighten this up, actually. Probably go a little bit more than that. How much fuel have we got? Half our fuel, okay. Excellent. So now as we come in, we are going to come in quite hot, I think. But that, that arrow, if you like, will just pull back because the friction of the air uh, will force us backwards. That's awesome. Let's turn ourselves to a safe separation element. Uh, we'll do it this way. And we go off that part of our rocket goes. We don't need that anymore. And now we just point ourselves backwards from whence the direction we're coming from. We want to make sure we don't use up our electrical charge, which we're not, which is fine. So now we just watch as this comes and starts to come in he begins to enter the atmosphere. So we're now coming at 68. Let's get ourselves into a good re-entry position shape. So we're hoping obviously that this part is going to get very red and very hot as we come through the atmosphere and that will begin to slow us down. We, again, we'll be careful, we've got plenty of electric charge and we don't use it up. Just trying to keep ourselves in a good angle. Coming down, that's pretty quick. That's pretty quick. Now, if we land on land, so our our base is over there, our space base is over there. So we're actually coming in to the south of that, but still pretty close for any ships to come and collect us, so that shouldn't be a, a big problem. He's gone round the planet about 50 times. <laughs> so he's gone round the planet probably about 15 or 20 times, which is pretty good for an initial test. 54. We're coming into the thinner part of the atmosphere at the top. So already that slowing effect, um, not quite having a big enough effect. Gravity is still pulling us down, so we're actually getting faster at this point. But we will start to slow once we hit the thicker part of the atmosphere. He looks very happy with himself, doesn't he? We've got one more goo canister, actually. Hmm. Observe the goo at this height. Does it say anything? Um let's keep that data. We've got them all now. We're gonna land in water and we've already done all of those. So we've used up all our goo containers, which is fantastic. Crew report from you at this height? No. I don't know, so we'll take it anyway. We're not gonna do one when we get to the water because we've got all of those as well. Here we go. Getting ready then for a little re-entry heat. Coming in very, very quickly. for those effects any minute now. Here they 
up. Slowing down quite considerably actually, which is quite good now. There's the heat. Our boy all protected obviously inside. Fifteen hundred coming in really hot now. Coming in really warm. Still gonna be an ocean hit though. Space base over there somewhere. You can see that the uh the debris that we uh, jettisoned is also going through the heating process over there. Should be much far enough away from us to not be any risk to us at all. Brilliant. So, coming in. Three parachutes on this stage, remember. Two radials, one at the top. Our first orbital mission. Jebediah, first Kerbin in space for us. Going to bring this down. No ASA on at the moment, plenty of electric charge to fire the parachutes. And then it will be down, 4,000... Less than a minute, I would have thought. 36, 35, 34, 33, just let it come down. Already still slowing, 150, getting down to maximum terminal velocity, which is about 120 kilometers or so, uh, before the resistance and gravity equals themselves out, give or take. See that slowing 121, 120, 19. Let's fire those. And we're going to be coming down at 4.6. 4.6, which is pretty good. So over there is where our other half fell, which is fine. Let's get this down to the uh, into the water, recover the vessel, and see what science we did manage to collect. Jebediah safely back, safely returned. 27, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, come on! I wish you could just skip to splash, but you can't. You have to go through this little process. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 20 metres. First splashdown, first Kerbinal in orbit is bad. Fabulous. Kept all of the stuff, which is brilliant. Let's recover the vessel. So we recover the vessel, what do we get from that? Well we do obviously get that he is the first one in all, we get all of that, we got that last time I think. Uh, what did we get? 34 science, that's not bad. Crew reporting anything for that. It's Mystery Goo, 2.3. Cover of a vessel, plus 10, very good. Got some of those back, and obviously Jebediah is done. So we're still at 34.5, if we go here we still do not have enough um, to get all of these, in fact we don't have enough to get any of the ones that I want to, or I'll need to get so we're going to have to keep doing some more missions to do that. We did complete of course this one, so we got loads of money which is very good, only one science though but loads of reputation so we can discard that one and that means that we still have to do the whole um, I don't quite know, activate the part through the staging sequence and all the test conditions are met Oh yeah don't quite know how we're going to do that one. Anyway, video has gone on long enough. I'm going to do an awful lot of editing on this. Lovely to be back off holidays. More videos will come. More Minecraft coming. If you've liked what you've seen, do leave a like. Leave some comments. I don't mind. It's lovely to read from you. You take care of yourselves, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.